Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Hi, I'm Frankie B, and this tutorial is about how to make awesome eye popping, eye catching thumbnails for your videos in Pixlr for free. This will make your thumbnail click friendly so that viewers will just have to click on your thumbnail to get the full story. So, just make sure you're in with the click. Don't worry if you don't have Photoshop. A lot of people don't have Photoshop. But you can still make this awesome thumbnail in Pixlr just as well. And it's for free. You'll need to sign in and create an account. Yeah, but that's pretty much standard these days but it will guarantee to help you grow your channel and take it to another level. In this tutorial, we'll be setting background images, adding and formatting text, adding colors, working with layers, adding styles and drop shadows, also adding and formatting social media logos and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's do it. Now, first things first, and the first thing you need to do is to launch Pixlr. So, click on Pixlr E, then click Create. Then this screen will appear. And now, select the box marked 1080 by 720. And over here in your right where it says Name, type in Thumbnail. And background will leave that turned off. So now click create. And now here on this screen to zoom in and out on your canvas turn the scroll wheel on your mouse or control plus or minus on your keyboard. And if you're on a Mac it's command plus and minus. Background and now we're going to add a background image. So go to Google, type background images, 1080 by 720 in the search bar. Then search around and find one that you like. Be sure it's 1080 by 720 or larger is good. So you don't have to adjust too much and cause it to lose definition. There are loads to choose from in here. When you find one that you like, choose where you want to save it, usually on your desktop where it's easier to find, and click save as. And now, back in Pixlr, click on layers and add image as layer. And find the image wherever you save it. Select it and click open. And now the background image is in Pixlr. Adjust if necessary and press enter. And this is what we're aiming for. Add in text. Now we need to add the text. So select the text tool and click on the add text tab. Or you could just double click in the text box, then type in make. Now choose your font, and I'm going to choose Daddy Day, a nice, bold, strong font. Then choose the color, and then the size of your font. You can adjust the slider or you can type the number in the box and make it as large as you want so it really stands out about 230 in size should do fine 
to give it a more dramatic effect and make it really stand out. And now, make the thumbnail to make the thumbnail really stand out for an eye-catching, eye-popping effect. We're going to go and add some effects. So click on settings, then in here, line, leave as is. Letter spacing as is. Align, set to center. And then choose italic. Then X out and all settings will be saved. Next, go to style. Leave background as is. Outline stroke. Click on that and move that to 2 and choose color black. Now turn on shadow and choose these settings. Color white. Blur 20. Vertical position 22. Horizontal position 30. Opacity 60. Then X out and all settings will be saved and now it's looking great and next we're going to make a copy of the make layer by clicking the duplicate icon up here at the top and then separate them and type in awesome by doing this this way we maintain the format of the text and we'll do the same again and type in thumbnail. Or you could just double click into the box and select it. Then just click away. And now we're going to change the color of awesome and give it a nice yellow color. So select it, then choose yellow and click OK. Now we're going to add a background layer and give it a blue background and then blend the blue with the black star background to give it a starlight effect. And now it's really looking awesome. And now we're just going to add a couple of social media logos. So go into Google and find a couple of logos, whether they be YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Be sure they are PNG, transparent background. And when you've done that, go to Layers, Add Images Layer, find your logo and click Open. Now reduce them to a size of about 100 in width. Then select them and give it a stroke by going to edit and then stroke and choose a black and equal 3 pixel. I am going to give them two strokes for an outstanding effect. So go back into edit but this time choose white and give it a two stroke. Now that's fine. And now I'm going to give my little chick a slant angle. Just like this. Now, this is just a personal preference. You don't have to do this. And now we'll do the same to the YouTube logo. That's fine. And now we're going to duplicate the text layer, separate them, and type in the name of YouTube and the Twitter logo and select the font size to 23. 
Now adjust the layer and move it into place and change the font color to yellow to match also. Then go into settings and remove the italic. And now duplicate it and separate them and move it into place and type in Twitter. Now stand back and look at your handiwork and say, well done you. And now you can save your work and upload it to your channel. To save your work, go to File and Save then this box will pop up. If you haven't named your work, you can do so now. Or you can change the name. And file type, you can choose JPEG or PNG. I am going to choose PNG. Then check the size is 1080 by 720. And then click download your desktop and now to upload to your channel so log into your channel and go to video management manager and select the video you want to upload the thumbnail to then hover over it and you'll see these three dots click on option and select change Find your thumbnail and click open. And that's it. You have now made your own awesome thumbnail and uploaded it to your channel. So congratulations, well done. Thank you very much. And there you have it. Well, that's about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video and it helped you, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Leave a like, subscribe, comment and share this video if you'd like to see more videos like these. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now. Frankie B. Thank you very much.